Hello, this is Trouble, and welcome to my contribution to the Hecate Slime Farm. And what you see before me is a display. Over here, we have the number of double chests full, and over here, we have the percentage of storage that's full. And let me just no clip right back on over here. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on because I put this catwalk in, but it looks quite nice in my opinion. But, anyways, uh, in case you're here to actually see it working, um, let me just put in, I don't know, the equivalent of three units, and I'll get to what a unit means in a second. But over here you can see that it is working, and yeah, we have six double chests full, and 3% of the storage full. And if you're observant, you'd notice that I made three pistons extend, and it's certainly no coincidence that it's 3%. I'll get that in a second again, but let me go to the creative server, where I can explain things a little bit better. Welcome to the creative server, and yeah, this is what the storage would look like if it weren't for this, you know, catwalk in the way. And so now we can see what's going on a little bit easier. Let me just define what a unit is. I define a unit as one comparator over here, and a comparator is going to be reading directly this chest, but also indirectly the chest below it. And also it's going to be, you know, reading the hoppers too, technically but I'm not going to care about those. And so what does this mean and why does that work? It's because these chests, um, when this chest is full, it means that all the ones below it are also full. But each uh, once every two chests, we're putting a comparator here to read it. So that means each comparator is going to be reading exactly two double chests. And over here, it's going to be reading when it's exactly full because it's at power level 14 because of this comparator here and the dropper here. And so when it's completely full, then the comparator will uh, output a signal strength of 15, which this observer will be able to detect. And then this piston will drop its cauldron right behind this comparator, and it will subtract one from this line over here. And so why are um, why did I choose to group most of these in three? It's because I have slices of five units, so five comparators here and there are three wides, that means there's 15. And the maximum signal strength that you can transmit through redstone dust here is 15, so yeah, that'll be our maximum. You can also do different shapes, like it could be one by 15 tall, or I don't know, it could be some other shape, I guess. But I prefer to keep it like this because it's nice and compact, without looking too ridiculous anyway. So, um, yeah. If you watch my previous video on how comparators work, then um, yeah, you should understand this. I'm just going to assume that you know how comparators work, and you've seen my previous video. So if you haven't already seen that, I would suggest watching that so you aren't confused. So yeah, let's get on with it. Um, I'm subtracting from this power level 15, which means that the number of chests here that we're recording is inverted. So we invert it back using this power level 15, and um, yeah, we put it into this line here, which is going to be this half of this wing. And then we also have this line over here, and we bring them both together. So this wing is represented by this comparator right here. And then we do some more additions so that we include this wing here. And so now we have the entire number of units that are full in this. Um, entire storage okay so we bring that over here and if you watch my previous video you should immediately recognize that this is the iterator and if you're um, you should already be aware of this by now so I'm not going to explain this um, but yeah the thing that's important here is that this display is going to be representing the number of double chests and each unit is representing two double chests so each power level that the signal goes up will represent two double chests. And luckily the iterator already outputs two pulses every time it receives an update for an updated power level. So yeah, all we have to do is just take the raw output and put it into this display. And over here, um, we divide it by two because um, again, no coincidence says 1% for power level because, uh, well, yeah, I have exactly 200 double chests, which is 100 units. So each unit is going to be exactly 1% of the storage. So 
Yeah, to make the, that makes things pretty darn simple. So yeah, all you have to do is divide the pulses by two using a simple pulse divider. And yeah, that's all I have to do to get the percent. It's quite simple. Um, yeah, so now that you know everything, you can see firsthand for yourself. I'm just going to put some random number of, you know, units full, something like that. Yeah, maybe another one here, just for, because why not? Okay, so this counts. So we have two, we have three, that's five. Then we have another one, that's six. And we have another one, that's seven. And one more, that is eight. So eight times two is 16. And we have 16 double chest. And yeah, we have eight, so eight percent. Okay, and one more thing before I end this video. Um, uh, again, I'll mention the link in the description. It's about a video of uh, comparators and how they work. Most of the stuff I discussed in that video were used here. So if you're confused about how this works at all and you didn't heed my warnings earlier, then I guess better late than never. And uh, another video in the description will be this uh, display here. I didn't come up with this entirely by myself. Um, this logic specifically over here with comparators and the hydrogen to fill level was done by someone else. So um, go check that out. I modified the design a little bit because I needed to make it reversible. So I doubled the size of the feed tape and I added an nor RS nor latch in here that controls um, which direction the uh, displays go in. So yeah, that's basically all that is. And one more video is, of course, the Hakate Slime Farm video. Um, we're very proud of that, so definitely go and watch that. Um, yeah, and I'm very proud to have been included in this project. So, yeah, go check out those videos. And also stay tuned in the future. I hope to produce another storage that will be theoretically 100% accurate when the storage is completely full. So, yeah, definitely go and... You know, stay tuned for that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, thanks for watching.